Hello, Aquarius. Yeah, yeah, Aquarius. Yes, I just love doing Aquarius reads. How are you guys doing? Super, super fantabulous, I hope. If you're new to my channel, where have you been? First of all, this is the place to be. Do you like tarot? Do you like oracle? Do you like to have a good time and know what's going to happen? This is it. Hit that like, that share, subscribe, and come hang out with me on Instagram on Tuesdays for happy hour reads, okay? Send your question, send your 11 11. Yes, we doing it live and ready to have fun, have a couple of drinks, and enjoy yourself with me and my IG family, all right? Now, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love. High fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. What's going on, Aquarius? There's a lot, I bet. Anyways, the way these readings are going to go, we're going to look at a general in love, singles, couples, and then stay tuned for the next video because it's going to be all about your money, okay? Now, let's jump into this. September 1st, Uranus turns retrograde 27 degrees Taurus until January 30th, 2025. You're like, what? That sounds like forever. Like, it's like so far away. No, guys, we are like four months away. Wait, not even four. We, in, we are in September, October, November, December, three months away <laughs> from a new year, okay? But during this time, there's a lot of tension with wanting change, okay? And Uranus is spontaneous, action-oriented, and don't give a damn, okay? If Uranus says, we're going to do it, baby, it's going to get done, okay? Not to mention, not to mention, we got big old Uranus and little bitty Pluto. And you know when you got that big and that little energy, like me and my bestie, she's an Aquarius, hey, TT. Um, she's like 5'11 or 5'10, and I am 4'9. But we are a dynamic duo, okay? You should have been real afraid of us back in the day before all these cameras came out. We'd throw a brick if we had to. I love you, friend. Anyways, Pluto goes retrograde, and it goes back into Capricorn until October 11th. Lots of tension with change. Be prepared for like, ooh, revelations because we also going into eclipse season, baby. It's about to go down. On the second, new moon in Virgo, 11 degrees. Your personal goals are on the forefront, but have the courage to move forward, all right? Now, with that, on Ma on September 4th, Mars, the planet of action, is going to go into the murky waters of Cancer, and there's going to be a lot of emotional turbulence and a lot of things that aren't getting done. And drive safely, okay? On the ninth, Mercury enters into Virgo. Mercury likes being in Virgo. Communication is going to be important and pay attention to the details. And on the 17th, are you ready? Are you ready for some football? No, you ready for some eclipse season, big baby. Yes, we have the full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces, kicking it off. Get ready for this energy between Pisces and Virgo, okay? It's Pisces 25 degrees. And it's going to help build your confidence. And it's showing you the energy that you need to move forward. Why is Google tracking me? I don't know. Anyways, on the 22nd, call up that sexy Libra. Call up your friend and tell him happy birthday. Let's go have a drink. Okay, I still haven't even celebrated my birthday. I don't know. It's been a crazy month. It's been crazy. Anyways, not only is it Libra season, but on the 22nd, Venus, it goes into Scorpio. So it's about to be some freaky dicky fun and it's going to be what? A hella good time. All right. I apologize for the sniffling. I have apparently developed some really bad allergies today. Or tonight. Okay, it's tonight. What do we have going on for our beautiful Aquariuses? This is a part of the read where you have a yes or no question right here in the mind's eye. So... Overall energy, you pulled your damn energy, the king of swords. What's going on? You standing on business over here, you're like, no. You do not pass go. You do not collect $200. This is, what is the guy who pulls the sword on the stone? Um, Arthur, I don't know, King Arthur. I think it was like Excalibur. Anyways, you're like, come get this out, baby. And then you can talk to me. And until you can do what I can do, you ain't got nothing to say. So... For question number one, all right, it's a yes, it's a three of wands, it's going to be successful, it's going to be great, it's going to be damn good. For question number two, it's a yes, it's a victory, we're moving in the right direction, everything is moving in the way that it should, no matter what hindrance, no matter what gets in the way, baby, you are on the chariot, and it's a damn dirty hell yeah, okay? Both are victories, and both are moving right. So, the energy in the Astros that I want you to pay attention to, is that going to be of the Neptune, your vision? What do you see? What are your dreams? What's going on? Pay attention to the 8th and the 26th, or 8-26 could have been very important. 
Your animal energy this month is that of the Horus. El caballo wants you to change. There are big changes coming in, and I also feel that with this energy, it's teaching you to be more compassionate and caring for others and letting people be free with their decisions, all right? So pay attention to that. You could also be seeing the number 555, five, five, which is indicating time for change. However, overall energy is that of achievement, baby. Chase your dreams, okay? You may be surprised where they lead you. All right, there's a lot of achievement coming in for you and a lot of beautiful energy. Now, looking at your love energies, we have that of the Buddha prepares, baby. It's time for you to start working with your, um, I was gonna say solar plexus, but it's not, with your second chakra, your Shavashtana, okay? It's really time for you to start getting creative, feeling those sexy time juices, but also those creativity things that are saying, oh, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should plan that. Maybe I need to redecorate this. Trust that you're preparing for something wonderful, something that's going to be shown to the world. Now, be prepared. There is something that is um, coming in like a tower moment. We'll check into that very, very quickly. And I also feel like there could have been something with the date um, April 8th or August 13th. And um, that's going to come into play later on in the read. Okay, those could just be important dates for you. Okay, or August 4th. All right. Mm-hmm. What you done got yourself into? Oh, my God. I am drinking passion tea with some vodka. But the passion tea is so good. It's so delicious. It's so, so delicious. Anyways, let's get into this read. Let's see what the energies are. What does our beautiful Aquarius... Someone rising of Venus needs to know this month when it comes to love. What are the general messages? You need a trip. You need to go on a vacation. Come see me. Let's have a great time, all right? And yes, you should. You should come see me. Anyways, what's our next message? Mercury retrograde did a number on you. You might have had some electronic issues, some travel issues. Things just got all muggled up, even communication. You could be dealing with a narcissist or someone who is making you feel like they have some narcissistic tendencies, and that is not fun, okay? Narcissism is not fun, but people are overly called narcissists. So let's just say that you're with somebody who does not put you in the position that you would want to be put in, okay? They don't, we don't have to put labels, but we just got to, we just got to protect our vibes, okay? Vacation, what is this vacation about? What is, what is this vacation about? We go into a wedding, baby, or we're getting married, okay? We are having soul connections, love, devotion. It's beautiful. And yes, some of us are unsatisfied. This card's not supposed to be in there. Um, I wasn't happy the way things were going. Um, you could, some of y'all were going through like a chase or runner situation. There were fears of abandonment. And Mercury Retrograde is telling you, you just get you need to get grounded, baby. You need to get grounded and you need to go out and party. All right? Call me because we need to go party because I didn't celebrate my birthday. I had so much work to do, guys. It was ridiculous. Ridiculous. My school is crazy. Anyways, we have a very much twin flame energy coming in for you. Pay attention and make sure that this is a healthy connection so that you are not chasing something that doesn't want to be caught. All right? So let's get a general message going on for you. All right, let's see here. First message, go on that trip, the Six of Wands, because you might be getting married. Ah, okay. And it's going to work with the Three of Pentacles. Teamwork makes the dream work. I love this cat on the bottom. She's like, damn it, I got the coin. Okay, I got the bouquet. Okay. There is an offer of love coming in with the Knight of Cups. All right, and it's going to be spectacular with the Ten of Pentacles. There could be an offer like, hey, I have a family trip, or hey, I'm going to go see my cousins. Do you want to come? And it's just like, you're just like, yes, I do. And this is going to increase the communication and make things fun. Why are you so freaking worried and why are you stressed out? Get some sleep. Stop staying up so late at night. There's some beautiful things that could come from this situation. Some of y'all are going on a work trip. It's going to be successful. Things are going to be okay. Knight of Cups wants you to trust your intuition. Ten of Pentacles said, look, 
It didn't work the first time with the fool, but damn it to hell, we got the fool 2.0. We're gonna try it again. We're gonna one more time, okay? One more time. And the ace of swords is agreeing with that. You got the double fool. So you're just a fool in love, baby. Just go for it and do it spontaneously and possibly with a fire sign with this um, younger fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, all right? It's beautiful, beautiful energy coming through. There is something about the color red. Maybe this person wears a lot of red, but this person is just like, they kind of stress you out because they're very spontaneous and they're on what? The damn dirty horse, your power animal this month, all right? So, big changes coming in. Ace of Wands is looking at me. The lover's at the bottom of the deck with the chariot. Go on that trip. Enjoy yourself. There's a lot of opportunities coming your way. Don't be afraid. Just do it. Just have fun. Live your life. Enjoy. Easier said than done, right? <sighs> I know. Okay. We are going to jump into singles. Let's see what's going on with our beautiful singles. What do our single... Aquariuses need to know for the month of September. They need to know, no. Woo! Narcissist, what is going on, singles? Trust your intuition. Okay. Try okay, it says the red flags that you ignore now will become will come back to bite you later. Okay. So you know like those like things that you're like, yeah, I don't really like when they do that. It really bothers me, but they're so cute. Yeah. F that. They're cute, that's nice, but cute doesn't pay the bills, and cute, cute don't make you happy at night, okay? So give it time, you will see what needs to happen and see where this is going. All right, why are we saying no? Why are we saying no this month? It's just not the right time. Because this individual could have financial issues, or this is somebody who, you know, they try to act like you don't mean as much to them they have their poker face on. I don't like people like that. Like, look, if I'm into you, you're going to know it. Like, I'm going to be, like, over the top into you. But if I ain't like you, I ain't even answering text messages. I'll be forgetting. I play this new game called Cakes and Pies or Pies and Love. And I freaking just lose time. I don't care. <laughs> now... There is someone who wants to connect with you again, but you have got some really strong boundaries. You have learned your lesson, and the person who has narcissistic tendencies uh, is not able to pass go or collect $200, and you're not dealing with them. And trust your intuition. Go live it up. Go live that single life. Enjoy yourself, okay? Because there is some shocking information coming to the forefront once you give it some time. A sudden change. <sighs> okay? And if you've been watching my TikToks or my Instagram stories, you know that card has been popping up quite a lot, okay? Let's jump into this reading and see what we get for you this month. We are using the Tarot of Light. Absolutely love this deck. Let's see. Ooh, that card just flew out. Woo, baby! We're coming in with the Two of Cups. We're coming in hot, hot, hot. Two of Cups. This is definitely a connection. We are happy. We're moving forward. So we thought, and then we're at the Four of Cups. So now we're disappointed. We don't like what we see. Someone's trying to offer you something, but you're so focused on what wasn't working that you're like, mm, I don't really care. And it falls right under the knot today. King of Swords, baby. It's time for you to pull out the big sword, baby, and cut something off. You don't want to communicate with me? You can go al carajo. We don't have no time for that, my love. Okay? Also, the wisdom of the owl, the communication of trusting your intuition with the bat energy. And then we have the raven, and that is some beautiful energy, the power of Odin. Stand strong. If someone is not someone you want to enjoy your time with, you don't want to engage with it, like the card said, not today. Okay? And not today. Boundaries are fun, okay? They can be fun. Oh, look, because you have to make a decision with the two of wands this month and trust your damn dirty intuition. First, they put the intuition on the card with the little little crystal ball, okay? And now they got the high priestess. So, baby, if you're saying, well, I don't know if that's about such and such. Well, the fact that you said that, it is, okay? Because you're the high priestess. Go chase your destiny. It was destined. It's a dream come true. It's time for you to go and travel the world and have fun and enjoy what life has for you and not deal with people who are not willing to let you know how much they love you, how much they care about you, how important you are, how great you are. What is the point of being with someone and not being excited about them? Like, I get excited when my friends come. I'm like, oh my God, my friend's calling me. When I'm in the mood. Sometimes I'm not in the mood. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so stressed out. I have like four deliveries today and I don't know what I'm going to do. 
That was me today. Okay, let's see. Two of Cups is coming through for you. What do we got? What do we got for those Two of Cups? Oh, look. Here you are enjoying yourself, but there's something from the past that keeps coming back on your mind. This could be a person. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo kind of energy or just a mindset. It's like you can't enjoy fully the moment, okay? Why are we at the Four of Cups? What's going on here? We've got to cut something off. We, have, we are not feeling this situation. Um, we have the Queen of Cups here. We could be dealing with Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. We feel like we gave to a connection so much. We nurtured it. We loved it. And then they just cut us off spontaneously with the Knave of Wands or the Knight of Wands. So this is like... Okay, boobies are being shown all over these cards, and YouTube likes to trip on stuff. So I'm going to say this. There is a lot of passionate love when you're with this person. Like, you feel their body sexually, physically, but emotionally, there is a disconnect. King of Swords. Somebody wants to come back, and I don't think you're allowing that energy to come back. You're like, kiss my ass. Okay, we're not doing that. You could be seeing the number 66 or 666. The two of wands says, how do you want to move forward? Where do you see your completion at? Who do you want? What do you want in your world? What needs to end? And we have the world with the high priestess over here. What does the high priestess say? The knight of cups. Okay, pay attention to when people pop up in your life again. Maybe they start seeing you do really well or maybe like everything's going great in your life and they pop up. But they're just there to be like, I wasn't going to say succubus energy, but they're there to suck like a parasite and they take all the good energy from you and they fill their little cup up and then they're off pouring it into other people. Not your person, okay? That's not for you. Because then you feel like they're betraying you. There's some of y'all that are moving. There's a move out here, okay? The wheel wants you to know the Three of Cups. Okay, this is a very interesting Three of Cups, all right? But you're, there's, there, it needs to be passionate. We need to be passionate about what we have. And I feel like you're with someone who kind of like, they're like with you. They're like, oh yeah, this is my partner. They're great. Oh, and then they wouldn't call you for a couple of days. Or, you know, they just didn't celebrate you the way that you really wanted to be celebrated. And I have the High Priestess again over here. Two different decks, same energy. What is that saying? You have got to trust your intuition about why is this person coming back? Why does this person want to come back into my life? I'm going to put my boundary down and I'm not going to accept it this time. I'm not going to I'm not going to engage in a situation that does not honor me because they're often running to the next best thing. So, pay attention to the 4th, the 6th, the 8th, the 13th, the 9th, the 13th and the 21st and 26th. Okay, very important dates for you. Let's get a little bit more information. I know you're always like, well, is my ex coming back? You know, they probably will because they always do. But is it worth taking them back? That is the question, right? Is it worth it? Let me work it. So for those of y'all wondering what your ex is thinking, let's see. Or the person's on your mind that you're not in communication with. What is their issue? What's going on? They want to tell you the truth. They want to reveal something. I feel like you didn't care. They feel like you didn't care about them. And I see your side of the story. They're trying to find understanding, but they feel like they're very connected to you. They feel inseparable from you. They feel like you're supposed to be together. Like, what is going on? Why are we not together? Where are the cards that I was like, oh, too much stuff on here. Somebody's dog just got out. <laughs> if that's not a sign. Okay, what would they tell you, Aquarius, if they could, if they were talking to you? I can't go another day without you. Oh, oh, I was selfish and stuck in my ego. You're worth more to me than I let on. And there is that poker face energy, and that's why you're just not dealing with it. I keep hoping to bump into you everywhere I go. Keep praying, my friend. <laughs> Aquarius is busy living their best life. Okay, they're not. They don't got time for that. So let's see who's coming in for you this month. Let's see the energies that are coming in for you. Like who is hot and who is not. Okay, we got to know. Aquarius says we're not taking that back. We got our boundaries. We're not doing this again. You're not gonna hurt me. I'm not gonna set myself up for failure. Like hello. Okay. And where are these cards? Okay, let's get a description of this individual and how you can meet. What is the description of this individual? We have 
They have cute little eyes. I always think of like stuffed animal eyes. They have a very interesting no noise, nose, and a distinct voice. It's like you you know that voice anywhere, okay? Aquarius energy, another Aquarius. You can be with another Aquarius. They have brown hair. There's something about their tongue. Oh, they're good with it. And they're very friendly. And this could be a person, a friendly person who likes to talk a lot. Now, another Aquarius energy here. Are you dating yourself, damn it? Is this telling you to self-love? This is somebody who knows how to dress, knows how to, um, they're very social, they dress well, they smell good, okay? And we have Leo energy, light colored hair, light eyes, um, very youthful. Okay, initials, initials, let's see, let's get a little shaky shake of the initials, throw them down. We got an E, O, and L, if I get a V, I'm going to laugh, and an A, okay? So we have a Lola, we got an Eric, an Olivia, and maybe an Ari, ew. Okay, I'd throw myself in the mix, right? Such a Leo thing to do. Clues on how you will meet. How will you meet? How will you meet? Let's see. They've been um, possibly looking at your social media or you have been looking at theirs. There's going to be an offer for coffee. Just meet up as friends, okay? Possibly around this new moon energy or this person is like, well, I have the garden by the moon. They want to go out in the evening, okay? And they want to have brunch or they miss having brunch with you, okay? Trust your intuition when you meet them. They're going to they're gonna shock you. They're going to shock you. They could possibly always like, you know, like the little Karopi frog from Sanrio. They might have that like somewhere on them or something with like a little cute frog. Okay. Now, let's get into couples. What is going on with our beautiful couples? These are people who know they're together in a relationship. They know each other's names, not just up here. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? We have, oh my gosh. I'm done with that card. Let that go, okay? <laughs> Let that nightmare go. And communication is going to be very important. Compromise, forgive, and work it out. We are developing intimacy. And intimacy is what? Not just in the bedroom, my friend. It's not just in the bedroom. It's about being real and letting people into your soul, okay? Sharing your hopes, your dreams, your fears, and feeling accepted and loved. Even when you have trouble loving yourself, this person is able to love you through that, okay? It's intimacy. So you have this narcissist who wants to come back into your life, okay? Huh? They, uh, that's what you think. Maybe you called them that. Maybe they're not like certifiable narcissists, but they have the tendencies. They're, they're trying to come back and you're like, oh, no. They're, let go. That has, they have to let go. They have been watching your social media. They are psycho. Little Delulu. And we're communicating with our partner about our abundance and intimacy wants you to know you're cutting ties, you're moving on. Some of y'all are completely cutting off communication and that is the best way of working with someone who is trying to manipulate your energy. We do not play games, we do not stay friends with people. We cut that off, that is unhealthy. Unhealthy communication is not okay, okay? With anybody. Do it for yourself. Okay, let's see here. What are we doing here? What is Aquarius's partner thinking? What is their story? They've been real quiet. Maybe they're dealing with a person. They've been real quiet. I also feel like they're, they've are they been doing a lot of introspection. Page of Swords. They're thinking about coming forward with some information to you. I want to tell you, like, it's a, they feel like maybe it's impossible. <laughs> impossible. How do they feel about Aquarius? Yeah. <laughs> they're excited. They love talking to you. You, you know, Aquarius, this is, like, also... Okay, quickie stickies, okay, like very quickie, like I just want to see you for five minutes, I just can't get enough of your energy, I enjoy being around you, can we have sex, that kind of thing, and they just love to talk to you, they just, you're entertaining, they enjoy you, your energy is infectious, they just adore you. And they're acting like they're really healing from this. The 17th is going to be very important because I have 917 right next to each other. So pay attention to that day. Um, and that is the day of the eclipse. So that is that could be the day that this person like really tells you how they feel. 
What comes between y'all is taking another chance at it. So this could be someone that you had a previous relationship with, but y'all gonna try it again because y'all got the full 2.0. And that's funny because that came out like a similar position for the singles. The outcome is we gonna do it, baby. We're gonna take a chance. There's also a lot of financial blessings coming in this month. Congratulations. And overall, energy is the queen of wands. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag, but this is also about you taking control, standing in business, and feeling yourself in this relationship. Very, very, very beautiful energy. Congratulations. So let's see here what this energy has for you as we look at this. Let me write the 17th down. My nose is getting so stuffy. I have not had a cold yet having this nose ring, and I'm super nervous. Like, how do I blow my nose? <laughs> the things that you do with your kids. She's like, I want a nose ring, and you said you'd always get it if I get it. And I was like, okay, let's do it. Now I think I have a little sniffles, and I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, friend. All right, somebody is moving. 918 is going to be important too. So I do feel like this person is hiding a little bit of how they really feel because the moon by the hermit is like, maybe they don't really know what they want to tell you. And um, they're quiet about it. Queen of Swords. Maybe there's like, you you guys feel like y'all aren't really sharing things like fully. Like someone is really into you. Okay, like super, super into you. The Page of Swords with the Four of Wands. And this page is, and you have two pages here, so there's going to be a lot of information coming forward. This is about moving in together, having a marriage, um, lots of fun as they're swinging around over there, okay? But it's like, watch, watch out the way you move forward. It needs to be a conversation where both of y'all bring forth what it is you want to the table without a lot of intoxication, the Eight of Wands wants you to know, Aquarius, they want to build their life with you. They want to build their life with you. They see it growing. They're ready to invest in you. This is beautiful energy. The star with the Knight of Swords. So this is also about taking control of communication. We really need to talk about it. There's that Leo energy. The star, Aquarius, strength, Leo, and the Queen of Wands. Some of y'all could be dealing with finding the courage to speak up. Maybe your person is afraid to speak up. They're going to find the courage to tell you how they feel, how they really feel about you. The Fool is the Knave of Cups. And this is like someone who wishes, if I don't say something, I'm going to miss out on this opportunity with you. Can we talk? Can we go to dinner? Can we discuss this? And the Page of Pentacles is like, yeah, but let's take our time this time. So I do kind of feel like maybe you guys are giving this another go. Even if you're married, you're like, okay, let's try this again. The Queen of Wands is with the Tower. Why is the Tower here? The Six of Pentacles. I feel like we are releasing the past, we're releasing what didn't work out, we're moving forward, and we're starting fresh with the Knave of Swords. There's also a lot of family involved, there's a lot of um, page energy, so I'm going to say be very careful uh, with uh, driving, when you're driving, drive, drive speed limit, okay, like I think I have had, I'm so upset, so I just got a new car, like, not like yesterday or anything, but it's a fairly new car. And um, tell me why I got hit twice in the same week. Like, what the fuck? Why? Like, I was at a red light park, like, waiting for the light to turn green, and I got smashed. I was like, what is wrong with you people? Why? Anyways, drive speed limit. Pay attention to what's going on. Take care of yourself, okay? And your health is very important this month because you're worth the ten of cups. You're worth it and then some, all right? So I do feel like somebody's walls are coming down about something in the past. We're moving forward and we're giving it another chance. Very beautiful energy. I am going to pull some Lenormand for you to see if there's any hidden messages that you need to know about. After your read, we're going to jump right into all signs, okay? So let's see, is there any closing messages for our beautiful Aquariuses? What do they need to know in this month? We have the cross. So there is something that is a burden for us moving forward. The burden could be financial things. We have some financial things going on. We have some health. Our financial health is growing also, okay? And then we have a snake. So you might be making more money and then you have this look. I have the snake right here. So you have somebody trying to slither back in like, oh, I want your coins. Uh, no, no Super Mario. You cannot have it, okay? 
and this person comes into a public setting okay that's kind of like either they do it publicly on social media or they just say something publicly because they wish that you would have done that with them and I feel like you have completely moved on with your new person you're in a good place whoever you decide to have this connection with you are very very happy pay attention to your financial health and be very wary of somebody who invites you out because they just know that you're making more money mm -mm. And they want you to pay for it. No! Bye! Okay, don't take, don't take advantage of my friends Aquarius because they are like my opposite sign and we will tussle, okay? It will not go down well. Let's give you some closing energy with the Oracle. Okay, this does not go here. That does. And then we'll look into your money on the next video, okay? What's going on for my beautiful Aquarius this month? Let's see here. We have, we're walking away from the snake. Literally walking away from the snake. Walk away. Like my, my baby says, we're just going to push that away. Push it away. We're not going to deal with that. We're going to reconnect with our spirit guides. Pay attention to the 26th and the 27th. Could be very important. Justice is going to be served if we have a court case. And justice by the abundance, you're going to get paid, baby. It's going to be beautiful, okay? Watch your affirmations and don't get bewitched by people's words, okay? It's not like some ne negative to say to you. We'll just walk away from that, okay? Pray for your home. Like, do a lot of clearing and cleansing in your home. And be brave if you're in a situation because spirit is definitely on your side. You got a whole bunch of people trying to suck off your energy. Parasites! No, we are looking for symbiotic relationships. We are not looking for that. Okay. Time to get into all signs. So, important dates. The 4th, the 6th, the 8th, the 9th, 13th, 17th, 21th, 26th, 27th, number 5, 5, 5, and 666. Six, six. All right, let's see here. I'm cutting the deck. Trusting our intuition and not engaging in situations that no longer benefit us. All right. I feel like I'm breathing really loud. <laughs> sorry, I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, I can't breathe. I'm so sorry. Okay, that's it. All right, let's jump into this. Here you are, Aquarius. You are all cried out. You are torn, broken, broken on the floor. You don't even know what's going on. All cried out over the situation. And Aries said, Ow, I told you so. You can't beat me at this. But you love them, and they love you, and it will work out. Lucky day is the 7th and the 5th, possibly. Here you are, disillusioned. You're not feeling yourself. You have the star reversed, and Taurus is trying to work with this and nurture the situation. Oh, wow. Mm, I didn't expect that message. And the solution is finding balance between healing and nurturing, where we are on the same page. The 17th could be very important, and the 12th. Here you are. You feel like someone is telling you a lie, and Gemini is like, oh, I'm going to show you the truth, okay? Solution is go find out. All right. They're coming for you. Like literally they're going to go and show you what they want. Okay. Or, or who they want. Okay. They're going to show you the fourth could be important and the seventh. Okay. Now here you are Aquarius as the fool. You're ready to move on. New opportunities start over and cancer is praying, praying that you ain't lying. It's not praying that you don't want to be single. They're like, I hope they still love me. Okay. Cancer's like, please love me. Don't leave me. And you're like, I don't know. All right. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to meet up. We're going to, um, we're waiting for text messages. Okay. Here you are is the tower. Oh my. Okay. And Leo is like, you can't have none of this. Leo is out the door. They are done. They are finished. There is a possibility of a water sign coming into the mix. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a situation where someone has an offer of love for the other. The 19th could be important. And here we have the Nine of Swords, okay? You feel like this person done did me dirty. They attacked me. I am bad. I am baffled. I cannot believe this individual did this. And Virgo is watching it all go down. I'm talking about it worked. <laughs> the solution. Trust your intuition this month, okay? Your lucky day is the 14th. Here you are making decisions, cutting things off. And Libra is 
ready to reveal something. What are they revealing? That they see you as the King of Pentacles. I also feel like there could be some family issues going on. And the lucky day is the 12th. Here you are, the emperor in control, in the know, making things happen. And, and you got cute sandals on. What? Okay. And Scorpio is all in their head about the situation. I think you guys had an argument. You're not seeing eye to eye about something. And there could be a third party in the situation. Or we are just not passionate about the same thing. Okay. The fifth could be important. Here you are as a magician, creating, manifesting, doing wonderful and amazing things as you are, Aquarius. And uh, that was Scorpio, so that is next. Wait, 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 let's see. I think I got confused. Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, yeah. Sagittarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I was like, wait a minute. Might have had some issues at work. They don't feel like this is working anymore, but there is a lot of love. I feel like this could be a financial issue and you're going to solve that problem. The 17th is going to be very important. Here you are ready to walk away from something that just is wearing you out. Okay. And Capricorn said, mm, I guess. All right. And I ain't going to give you none because you walking away like that. Okay. You want to be bored. And I would be very, very careful in this situation to end one chapter before you start another. And that is miscommunication is what the two princesses are saying. The 17th could be important. Here you are ready to start over. You're ready to start something new. And Capricorn. Good Lord, why do I keep getting confused? So that was Sagittarius, was not working. Capricorn had the cuckoo covered. Okay, Aquarius is not, is like ready to be more open. They're ready to let you in and after a betrayal. So I don't know, you want to start over Capricorn, I mean um, Aquarius, the other Aquarius isn't sure about this. The 19th could be um, very important. Here you are. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to be about it. And Pisces is out having the best life ever. Okay. They just living it up. <laughs> and we need to rein that in if we want to make it work. The solution will possibly be around the 13th or you will find out information around then. Remember, these are general readings. If you want a private or personal reading, hit me up on my lead tree. Come hang out with me on Instagram on Tuesdays for happy hour. And be blessed. Stay blessed. And thank you so much, Aquarius. Have a beautiful month.